Hey everyone, this is Dan. In this quick video, I'll show you how to create and add a pop-up to your website, page, funnel, whatever it is, and how to create it super, super simply. So, basically there are two ways of pop-ups that I will show you, basically automated and triggered. The automated ones are the ones, for example, when you scroll down a page after a specific time, or if you intend to exit, close the tab, for example, to trigger a pop-up to show. And the triggered one, when you actually click a button, link, something like that, for the pop-up to show onto the page. Alright, so let's get started with the creation of your first pop-up. Alright, so let's create our first pop-up. Let's click on the pages and there you'll see the pop-ups tab, where you can see all the pop-ups created by you. In this case, we don't have any, so let's start with picking a template for our first pop-up. There are great designs for any type of purpose. And you can start, of course, with blank one. But let's just pick one of the designs. And as you can see, it's right away. You can start customizing it freely with the drag and drop builder. So you can add any type of element that you want into your pop-up, just like any other page. And you can customize it, have whatever widgets you want inside. You also have the styling option where you can adjust also the layout. So in this case, we have a background on the side and the content area on the right. But you can play around and create different layouts depending on what you're trying to do. Other things as such, uh, is also the padding that you can add on the content area. You can add the overlay to be different. Uh, so it can be lighter, darker, it can be different color. So you can play around and create whatever type of design and layout for your pop-ups. And again, you can adjust the background, change the background and adjust the elements inside. Then you also have the ability to have the pop-up settings. Obviously there you can see things like what is the layout as well on the position of this pop-up. It can be in this case like in the center, you can have it at the bottom, on the left side, on the right side. It can be actually hovering the whole thing. It can be on top, on bottom. So play around and see which one fits the most what you're trying to do. You can also add a name and here are the first options. So like I said, you can have um, automated pop-ups and you can have triggered pop-ups. So in this case, you have the automations based on when exactly that will happen. When somebody is on a specific time on this page uh, or on a specific page, when somebody scrolls down, when somebody tries to exit, for example, when they intend to close the tab uh, or go to another tab, this pop-up can show. So it really depends on what exactly you're trying to do. Uh, you also have the ability to show this on mobile devices or not. Uh, when to show it. Uh, well, I mean, you can show it once or you can show every time for page visit or uh, never show it again. So you can have and adjust this option as well. Plus the animation on how it will actually show up onto the page. It's, it's just the way uh, you, you transition from uh, closing and showing the pop-up onto the page. And let's do it for this one to be on scrolling uh, onto the page so we can see it and uh, then we have the ability to show on which page exactly of our website or funnel this pop-up will show. So if you want to show it just on the home page, for example, you can just select the home and click on confirm. And don't forget to click on save. And that's about it. We can now preview our page. And if we scroll down, you see that the pop-up will show up. And just like that, it did show up. So this is how simple it was to create our first pop-up and show it when you scroll down. Again, you can adjust whenever you want this automated pop-up to show. But you also have the ability to show this pop-up on a specific event, uh, <coughs> like a button click, I mean by event. So for example, we have this shop now button and we can go into the, um, to the uh, options here for the, for the link, uh, the settings, and we can select the option for a pop-up. So we can select which pop-up to show when somebody clicks on this button. So we just selected the new pop-up that we created. This is the name of it. Click on select, click on save, and we can preview how this works. Now, whenever you click on this button, the pop-up will show. So this is the second option, which is the trigger by clicking somewhere. The other one was automated when you do scroll down, which in this case now does not show because we removed this option and we made it only when you click on a button. So these are the two main options for having the pop-ups to show onto a specific page. Now, we also have the ability to to use pop-ups in, in some other ways, let's say in the case of a funnel. Again, it is uh, pretty much the same way as the automation, but in this case, we have the ability to 
for this to be triggered by a checkout. So this is the one click up sales and down sales. And there you have the ability to create a pop up as well in the funnel. So you can show a specific uh, pop up or again or, or a page but in this case we're talking about pop-ups with a product and in that product people can just one click purchase a specific product and yes this pop-up will show after a checkout a successful checkout happens so here we have the upsell and downsell widget and you can adjust there which products people would be buying so this is another way to trigger a pop-up by having it as part of a sales funnel and in the checkout you have the ability to add a pop-up as part of your flow of course you can add a step as a pop-up part of your um, again funnel flow you can do it from here but if you want to do some kind of an exit again pop-up or pop-up that shows uh, on some other event you can also again do it from within the pages again pop-ups there you can create within your funnels as well as this type of a behavior type of a pop-up so this is it this is how simple it is to customize and build your pop-ups again everything you can do with just your mouse adding different elements into the page and create whatever design that you want even split into different columns if you wish and yeah create and go go crazy basically create any type of of, of thing that you want for people to see onto the page uh, it can be also used for checkouts this is actually a very cool way we have such pop-ups where you can create a checkout pop-up the idea there is that instead of having to people to uh, to go to a checkout page you can have everything within the same within the same uh, pop-up and the same page so that they can browse a specific product add to cart and directly go to a pop-up checkout within the same page that you can close then and you can add more products instead of having to go back to a different page etc etc so the pop-ups can be used for absolutely everything i hope that you enjoyed this video like it if you if you did and subscribe for the channel for awesome new videos coming every week